your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good afternoon, everyone. We're almost a th uh, Thursday. We are a Thursday. We're almost a Friday. How about that? Let me get my head around things here. Hey, we got a little sun came back out. Colorado Springs is at 77 degrees. The winds are at 12 miles per hour, so the grass is still pretty green. The winds are a little breezy and Pikes Peak still looking pretty good outside. Now in Woodland Park in the backside storm, you're looking over Woodland Park, but there is more cloud cover over those mountains. 66 degrees, incredible amount of snow still on Pikes Peak for this time of year. And then we get over to Pueblo, still that grayish look in the sky, but Pueblo, we've got that west wind, which is kind of key to accessing some more of the warmth over southern Colorado. Pollen count is still pretty high out and over the trees, kind of more than anywhere else. Pretty low on the weeds, grass, and mold. And then, really, you can just see how thick that cloud cover's been out of the morning, especially over the interstate. The plains, a lot of you are seeing more partly cloudy skies, and hey, there is some clearing trying to fill out from the San Luis Valley over Park County. But I think we're still going to look at a lot of cloud cover through the rest of the day. So our hour by hour actually has a pretty good handle on our temperatures. It's within about a degree or so, which is nice. So really through the afternoon, Colorado Springs, we're going to go into the low 80s and then we're kind of steady off. This is at four o'clock, whereas Pueblo, we got you up towards 90. Notice how there is a little rain out towards some of the mountains in western Fremont County out to park. This is basically sparking over some of the mountains. That is a possibility, but as far as like any main town, main population area, we're not going to see that rain come on down. We're going to be okay. By five and six, again, trying to develop some rain over Woodland Park. It's a possibility in Woodland Park, but it's just not very likely today because the air is still dry. Now at six, despite some of the cloud cover, we're still going to be pretty mild out there. And as we get towards 10, it's not going to be a big drop. So what I've been saying is you're probably going to need to run that air conditioning through today, through tonight more than anything, because on a day like this, your house heats up into the 70s, even the 80s pretty well. Temperatures, we're still going about 80 to 82 today. So the winds are going to help us boost, boost those temperatures into those uh, lower 80s from the 70s right now. A cold front will knock us back tomorrow afternoon. A few showers on Saturday are a possibility, but I think some of what you're gonna be hearing about is next week, mostly rain, but Monday night through Tuesday morning, there is absolutely a snow chance. Now it's better over the high elevations around town like the mountains or the Palmer Divide. And even if we do get snow, we're kind of at the point of the year where it's kind of almost impossible to really accumulate more than an inch or so on the roads, anything else. The grass is always a little easier. Pueblo, 90s turn to the 80s, turn to the 60s. So you cool down into the weekend, really pretty dry until Monday, Tuesday. I am bringing a good chunk of rain back through the forecast. Canyon City, here's what I'm seeing out of you. 80s today, we go back to the 60s though through a lot of your extended forecast with rain in the forecast there Monday, Tuesday. Looks like there's no snow to me, but we go to Woodland Park this weekend, Saturday. There could be a rain snow mixture, but only if some of that comes in the morning when it's a lot colder. Get over to Monday and Tuesday. It's rain that turns to a rain snow mix on Monday and then turns to snow. Monday night through Tuesday, it's way too early to know how much is coming, but we'll definitely keep an eye on this one because a late May snow, that would be interesting.